Hey everyone, so my mom wanted me to do a video on how I straighten my hair. So I thought, why not post it to my YouTube channel? So I'm just going to do a quick video about how I just straighten my hair. So first off, I usually just brush out my hair like when it's wet. And you can comb it, you don't have to brush it, you can do either. Whenever I'm straightening my hair, I like to put in this Aussie hair insurance spray. And it's just a leave-in conditioner. I try very rarely to blow dry my hair just because it is so damaging. <laughs> You don't have to spray this spray when your hair is dry. I actually usually spray it when my hair is either really wet or kind of damp, so. Just kind of run it throughout. So another tip too is when I know that I'm gonna be straightening my hair that day, um, once I'm close to getting out of the shower, I'll turn the water like a little bit colder and I'll just let the semi-cold water kind of run on my hair for a little bit um, just because it makes it like a little bit less staticky when I'm blow drying it. So if you have dry hair, that helps too. Also, another little tidbit um, that can make your hair more sleek, like when, or sleek and smooth when you straighten it, is turning your blow dryer to the cool setting or holding down like the cool button as you're blow drying your hair. So after it's dry, usually what I do is either comb it or brush it out so that it's nice and smooth and I kind of make sure that I have... Oh, I should have said this before, but go ahead and just part your hair where you want it and usually that's where, you know, if you part it there and you dry it, that's where it's going to want to stay. So now that my hair is dry, I'm going to go ahead and straighten. Another tip too, so you don't fry your hair, is don't ever put it on the highest setting because it is very damaging to your hair. So my straightener goes up to 400 degrees, so I usually keep it on about 260, so a little more than halfway. So something that you can do is part your hair into sections, so you can just, what you do is just take, just run your finger, take about this much, maybe off the top. And you can kind of twist it and then if you have a little clip you can just like clip it but I don't have one so I'm just gonna use a little bobby pin so after the straightener is heated up a little bit I'm just gonna take my finger and just get a little section like this and then just start at the top and go all the way down and you never ideally you never want to straighten the same piece twice because it is very damaging and there's no particular way to hold your straightener, I just hold it over the top like this. And you don't want to have too thick of pieces, otherwise the straightener won't really be able to grab onto all of it. So just have you know, inch to two inch pieces, especially if you have thick hair. And not everyone has this, but since I have little bangs, I will take the bangs and I'll just kind of run my straightener through them at least once or twice, like that. So then I'll just kind of brush the top, kind of blend it in more. And then once I have that other section then blend it in, then I'll just grab, start grabbing the top. I'm just kind of starting at the top and going down. So same with the other side, if you want, just take about half your hair and then kind of twist it and then don't use your teeth <laughs> like I did. You can even section like the half that you leave down into, you know, if you wanted two thirds or something. So put some of it back and just keep like a small little piece. And then even split that in half like that. 
And just start at the top and work your way down. Don't be afraid of the straightener. Like I said before, I just let that other piece or other section down like I just did and then just kind of go over the top as well. So you also might find that there's little hidden pieces like wavy pieces like maybe towards the back here. So I just try and grab onto those too and just kind of work my way down. And after I've gotten it all straightened like this, I will just kind of lightly brush through it and make sure I don't have any other pieces that are really all that wavy or anything. So now if you want to add some volume back to it, I wish I had a wide toothed comb, but I don't. I just have a little skinny with the fine teeth of the comb. Um, what? Just take maybe the top layer and fold it over. Oh. And then I'll kind of comb through it like this, nice and smooth. And then I'll start about mm, maybe like four inches above like my scalp and then just kind of lightly pull down with the comb. I don't know if you can see that very well, but like this. And I try not to do this too much because this is also very damaging <laughs> to your hair. So I'll just try and do like, I don't know, one or two per side like this. Also, I'll take that hair that I flipped over and just kind of lightly comb over the top like this. And then I will also do the other side and kind of the back too. So I'll just take like a little section like this on the back and comb it up and then just go down like that. And then finally, this part's optional, but I usually will spray a little bit of hairspray. I'll spray my bangs usually. Come in. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see any other type of hair video or anything like that, just let me know in the comments or something. But I hope you enjoyed this mom and I hope it was helpful. See you next time. Bye.